YouTube channel. Today we are going to be starting yet another reading vlog, but this one is going to be slightly different because I saw this morning, it is 25th of June maybe, but I hit 100 subscribers last night and I was so hyped. So thank you all so much. Booktube has been one of the best parts of my year. I love going on this channel and talking about books with people who actually want to listen and have a discussion with me about them. So thank you all so much for subscribing. I love you all. I'm sorry if you just heard my cat sneeze. So yes, I was like, you know, I want to do something kind of fun for 100 subscribers. So I've seen this challenge going around for a while and it's where you read 100 pages a day for a week or you attempt to. So I thought that'd be really fun, you know, like 100 pages for 100 subscribers. That's one page for every single one of you. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be attempting this week. I don't know how it's gonna go. I typically read 100 pages a day on average, but like if I'm forced to in a way, I don't know if I'm just not gonna wanna do it. I guess we'll find out. Yes, we'll find out. We're gonna get into it. So I'm in the middle of a couple of books now, but I'm gonna be focusing on just this one for right now. And then maybe I can like get back into the others. I don't know. The physical book that I'm going to be reading is by say it with me now kids cassandra claire i know i know i'm so sorry i talk about her so much but i am almost fin i have two books of hers left in the shadow hunter chronicles so we're gonna make it through i'm gonna make a wrap-up video and then i'll just like stop talking about it in every single video but you're just gonna have to bear with me for now because we are starting the red scrolls of magic which centers on alec and magnus and i think it Ooh, maybe it's like set during the Mortal Instruments, like the second half of the series, you know? I finished the Bane Chronicles last night and the last couple of stories centered on Alec and Magnus as well. And I was like, oh my God, I love them. I want to read more about them. And I was like, hold on. I can. We're going to start this. I literally have no idea what happens in this book. I know they go on vacation, I think. Ah, uh, yes. A trip across Europe. That's fun. So we're going to get into that. Also... This is me from a couple minutes later. I forgot to mention that this book is co-written with Wesley Chu. She often co-writes things in like her short story collections. I think all of them are co-written, but none of her like series are. So I'll be really interested to see how the two writing styles mesh together when forming an entire novel as opposed to just like 50 or 60 pages. You know, that's enough of my rambling for now. We're gonna get into the video. four pages into this but they're going to Paris um in the very first part it says you can't escape the past in Paris and I just think someone needs to tell that little nugget of advice to some of the characters in the last hour series because it seems it could be of use only Magnus Bain would plan a romantic dinner for two literally in a hot air balloon air balloon right now and the name of this chapter is called collision in paris i don't think this is gonna end well It's 3 p.m. and i've still read like 11 pages you tell me how you think it's going <laughs> it'll be fine we're gonna do it it's gonna be good hello right now as for reading updates i am 88 pages into the red scrolls of magic and i'm really enjoying this book so far i just love alec and magnus like magnus by himself is an interesting character alec is a little less of one of my favorites just because of something specific he did but i think he adequately atoned for it so if i read two more chapters of this that will put me on page 109 and i'm part two of the book and then i will have met my quota for the first day this is going well so far I shouldn't have said that. I really shouldn't have said that. So, I have just reached page 109, which means I read 100 pages a day. Go me. So, I just got up to part two, which is called City of Mass, because they're going to Venice. And part one of this was called City of Love, because they're in Paris. And then I checked ahead, and part three is called City of War, because they're in Rome. And I was like, hmm. 
just reminds me of a certain way that they were naming a certain series. I just thought that was so cool when I like figured out the connection. I was like, oh, am I stupid for just not figuring this out? I don't know, but I just thought that was really fun. It's been a couple of appearances of characters from other series, like Tessa showed up, and then I think Johnny Brook from The Dark Artifices showed up. So I'm interested to see who else is gonna be showing up, so. Hey, if you insist on being annoying, at least come up here. It's Tuesday and I have read about 20 pages today of the Red Scrolls of Magic. Magnus and Alec are at a party. It's literally not a Magnus main story if they don't go to a party at least once. And they're seeing literally everybody. They saw Hypatia Vex, Malcolm Fade was there, Johnny Rook was there, Prince Aedon from The Dark Artifices was there. I just thought that was funny. I was like, oh my god. Little cameos from everyone. I love it. pages left until I reach 100 for the day but that's not why I'm here. We have another cameo and this is another one of my favorite characters. It's Rafael Santiago. Like I know these cameos don't last very long but I'm just excited to see some more out of him because he was one of my absolute favorite characters in the Mortal Instruments. I just he's so grumpy all the time but it's just so funny. Lily Chen just showed up one of my other absolute favorite vampires. I didn't really give her what she deserved in the Mortal Instruments, but after reading Ghosts of the Shadow Market recently, um, I have a newfound appreciation for Lily. and I have only read 30 pages of the Red Scrolls of Magic. I'm not concerned about reading another 70 pages tonight, like I don't think that'll be a problem, but I do want to attempt to finish this book today. I'm gonna read some more of this. Very interesting, lots of twists and turns. Obviously it's different from her regular series because in those you always get like a whole new cast, a whole new plot that gets very heavily focused on. This is just like very side plot. It's not like the world is gonna end if they don't like solve this. It's kind of just like, oh, stop this cult don't want to kill the mundanes it's not gonna like, take over the world type thing you know so it's a little lighter really love reading about alec and magnus and the twists and turns of their relationship because this does take place in the middle of the mortal instruments where their relationship is a little bit more tumultuous and kind of just like will they won't they you know what i mean and i am very excited to start the last book of the white when i'm done with this but that's not the book that i'm gonna read tomorrow um i'll show you the book i'm gonna read tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> So I have just finished The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. It was really good. Like, I was having a good time. It's definitely like a four out of five stars. It's not like one of my like absolute new favorite Cassandra Clare books, but I still really enjoyed it. All of the people that showed up in this were so fun as well. Was not expecting what I read on the last page whatsoever. So now I'm very interested to start the last book of the white. Honestly, might make it the next book I read. I was going to read The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan in the second half of this vlog, but I really want to start the last book of the white now. And it's like right there. It's just calling my name. I think I might have to. Yeah, that also means that I read 130 pages today, so look at me being an overachiever. So I love this cover of the book, but I just like it so much better than this cover that is on The Lost Book of the White. And I knew there was a version of this cover that matched this cover. And I was like, I wonder how people get that. Like, I just have no clue. But then I was scoping this book out because I'm thinking about starting it. And I realized that that damn cover is just on the reverse of this dust jacket. And I was like, what? What? I had literally no clue. Like the reverse of Queen of Air and Darkness, that dust jacket also has really cool artwork, but like this is like a whole alternative cover and I'm just like 
here for that. I'm gonna try and put this on here just because I love this cover so much more than this one. Yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna see how that goes. I think I've done it. I am meeting a lot of resistance with it. Like it does not appreciate being flipped outward, but I don't care because I don't know why I'm so drawn to this like red and white cover as opposed to the other one, but like ever since I first saw this, I think it was just like on the internet or something. I was like, damn, I want that copy of the book. What? Little did I know it was literally right under the dust jacket. Like I had no clue. Am I stupid for not knowing that? Maybe, I don't know. But now it's just so satisfying to see. I'm really curious as to why they put this on the reverse of the dust jacket though. I know they don't necessarily like go together color palette wise, but it's the same art style. So I don't really see why it would matter. I know a lot of her books are a darker color scheme. So like maybe that's why, but that's kind of cool that I can like just choose which one I want. So yeah, that's the last update for tonight. I. I'm not gonna start this now. I'm gonna start this tomorrow or I'll start the last Olympia tomorrow. I haven't decided. I'll let you know. Me in my cool new dust jacket. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so the cover of the book totally sticks out like a sore thumb. This definitely has to be why they changed the cover design of it because the rest of her, the color palette for her books is so like dark, you know? And it's just like, bang, white. But um, I love it, like not, not mad at it. I'm gonna keep it the way it is. It's Thursday. I just killed a giant centipede in my bathroom. And I've only read two pages of The Lost Book of the White, so it's going well so far. So it's 7.40 and I have read two whole pages today so far, woohoo. Um, yeah, I picked up The Lost Book of the White this morning at like 9am and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get my reading done early, it'll be good. And then I read two pages and I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll get back to it in a couple minutes. Uh, that was like 10 hours ago. So I'm just, I really don't feel like starting a new book tonight right now. Like I know the characters and I'm sure the plot won't be that hard to get into, but I just really don't want to start a new book. So I have a better plan. You're probably going to think I'm insane. And that's why I haven't talked about it in this vlog, but I'm doing a reread of The Infernal Devices again. Look, look, I read Clockwork Angel last week. I'm making my way through Clockwork Prince and like halfway through it. It's even better the third time. <laughs> look, I, no, I don't have to justify myself. We're just doing it. I haven't been counting this in my 100 pages read because every time I've picked this book up to read it, I've already met my 100 pages for the day but I've decided to just make this my 100 pages for the day because I just feel like it'll be so much easier to read 100 pages out of this book as opposed to like starting a new book because I'm already into the plot, literally halfway through the book, a very pivotal moment in the plot. I'm very interested in what's about to happen even though I know what's about to happen, but like it's a good part. So I'm not gonna wanna stop reading. So I just think that'll make it easier to get to 100 pages tonight. Like I don't doubt myself reading 100 pages. If I'm gonna like force myself to read 100 pages, you know, and I'm not like exactly feeling it, I might as well make it out of a book that I'm excited to re-re-read. Hello everybody. It is about 11.45 and I have just reached page 375 of Clockwork Prince. So that means that I did indeed read 100 pages today. So go me. Around the 7.30, 8 o'clock mark, I was like, do I want to do this? But honestly, I had a really good time just sitting down and reading a bunch of one of my favorite books. Not too mad about it. So yes, haven't failed yet. Three days to go. Yes. Hello everybody, it's Friday, 
it's like one o'clock maybe and I still have not read anything but it's fine because later today I am going to be starting the Lost Book of the White, just not right now. I had a doctor's appointment this morning so obviously I didn't read anything this morning and I just got back because I went to lunch. And then I also got some mail which is like book related but it's not a book which I'm gonna unbox in a second. And then after that I've been helping my mom with like some stuff around the house so she said that she would buy me a book for helping her out so I'm going to go to Half Price Books and Barnes & Noble just to scope things out. So I'm also gonna show you that in this as well. But it's unboxing time because I'm very excited for this. I got this for $5 off of the internet. Oh, hello. So this is Isabel Lightwood's demon detecting necklace type thing. So I got this because I'm going to film a wrap up video for the entirety of the Shadowhunters Chronicles because I am one book away which is this book, from finishing the series so far as it is published. So I was like, you know, I wanna I wanna wear something like kind of kind of fun. I think necklaces like this, and then there's like family rings and the clockwork angel that Tessa wears in the first book with the infernal devices. You can find like all of those things on eBay for like four or five dollars. So I decided to go with this one. Um, you would think I would go with the clockwork angel, but honestly, I was more drawn towards this. Gonna wear this in that video, so be on the lookout for that. And until then, I'm gonna put it on my um, current day Shadowhunter shell. Should I put it on? That sounds fun. I think I got this for like, uh, it might have been like five dollars on eBay maybe. Honestly, a good investment. It doesn't really match the outfit right now, but you know. Yeah, I'm not wearing this out, so I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna do, do some book shopping. Yes, I have indeed lost my mind, and I have indeed bought another copy of Clockwork Princess. Look, it's different. Like, the, the spines, I'll show you when they're like next to each other because it's like a whole thing. Also, there were so many people in that store, I did not appreciate it. I have decided to complete the trifecta today. So we hit Barnes & Noble, we hit Half Price Books, and now we're hitting the actual thrift store, so let's go. That was really overly excited. Okay, so that was rather fruitless, but um, it's fine. I have enough books. I kind of just wanted to like, see if they had anything. I find it interesting and slightly annoying that these don't line up, but that's not the point because these spines look cool as hell together. I mean, look at the, it forms a, like I knew it formed a picture, but I hadn't really seen the picture. So cool with the automatons just on top of these buildings. Love it. So it doesn't quite line up. She's outraged. So I'm home, hanging with Fritz. She won't let me sit in my chair, but that's fine. I should read because I haven't read a single page today, but I don't want to. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll figure it out later. So um, guess who has lost all motivation to start a new book again today and is going to continue to read T.I.D. because why not? So I'm on page 375 of Clockwork Prince right now. So I have about a fourth of the book left. And let me tell you the last fourth of Clockwork Prince. Honestly, I think maybe it might be like my favorite part of the series as a whole, like all three of the books. It's just so angst ridden, but it's also like so many like, f like happy moments are happening, which sounds like such a dichotomy. But like, if you've read it, you totally understand. And it's just so entertaining. I'm literally going to fly through these 100 pages because I love this part of the book so much. Honestly, my favorite part about annotating books in the first place is then rereading them eventually and seeing what I had to say about it. Like sometimes it's really not funny, but sometimes the things I write are just so stupid, I like die. Another example of some of my scholarly annotations. Honestly, 
YA novels or something else. It's so funny. So they were in like an explosion. So the guy who's on the bed right now has like a bunch of like metal in his back that like they need to get out or he's gonna like die from blood loss. Tessa is just over here in the other bed. Like, wow, I've never seen this much of a man's body before. His arms look really good as he's like convulsing off of the bed as they're like taking metal out of his back with tweezers and I'm dying. So I ended up finishing Clockwork Prince tonight. I was like 15 pages away from the end when I got to 100 pages. So I was like, okay, screw it, whatever. But like, I'm so sad now. And like, I know there's another book in the series. And I'm just like, I'm also gonna be sad when I finish Clockwork Princess, obviously. But like, that makes sense because it's the end of the series. But like, I was sad after I finished the second one. And I'm like, what? I mean, I just forgot how honestly like kind of depressing the end of this one is for a certain character but i will not i will not say because spoilers but i was like what what the fuck do i do now i mean i'm not gonna start the third book at like 12 30 because that's a terrible idea basically i guess what i'm saying is i didn't expect to be in my feels tonight but here we are am i gonna start crying no well <laughs> there's always a possibility <laughs> So, um, I'm making lunch right now, but I thought I would talk to you guys and update you on what's going on. Absolutely nothing, and that's the problem. But, um, I did finish Clockwork Prince last night. That damn book. Oh my god. The, the, the last part of it? So angsty. I don't know if I am gonna start the last book of the white today. I just don't know if I want to. Uh, I'm like, I don't want to force myself to read a book that I don't want to read. I don't want to do I just don't know. Loki just want to read Clockwork Princess now because the oh, I've only read Clockwork Princess once. I've read the other two twice, and honestly, I don't remember like most of what happens in it because when I was reading it the first time, I was reading it so fast because I had to know what happened. Didn't really absorb it well enough, so I feel like this is gonna give me a chance to really absorb the information in like the storyline. I just don't know if that's gonna be a happy experience. <laughs> that I just don't know. I don't know. I also don't think I have the mental capacity to um, read the epilogue for it again. Like, I don't know if I can put myself through that again. So yeah, maybe I'll start Clockwork um, Princess today. Kind of sounds fun. I don't know. So I'll let you know. I also think I'm gonna watch Twilight. I like to watch at least like the first movie of the franchise every year just for the vibes. Watching my trashy vampire movie, eating my lunch. It'll be a good time. Just look how everything is too, like, blue in this clip right now. This is cinematography, my friends. Say what you want about Twilight. It's got a bang soundtrack. Like, I would never listen to these songs, but they did the movie so So it's like 10.30 and I have not read a single page because like I said earlier, I'm just losing steam. I don't know, like forcing myself to read 100 pages isn't fun. Like at the beginning of the week, I was like, oh, this will be so easy. I read 100 pages anyway. But like, I think my reading's more sporadic than that. I could read like absolutely nothing in one day, but then I can also read like a 400 page book in a day. I do want to start Clockwork Princess. I'm gonna stop even like attempting to say that I'm gonna start the last book of the white this week because it's just not happening. Gonna read some of that. Probably not 100 pages of it. Probably more like a couple chapters of it and call it good. It's 11.34. I have read a grand total of 30 pages for the day and that's what we're sticking at so a little bit of a fail today but i have managed to make it five other days where i've read 100 pages so there's something for the challenge we'll see how it goes tomorrow maybe i'll be more motivated maybe i'll be even less motivated honestly who knows i one day aspire to reach such levels of relaxation 
Hello, it's Sunday. Um, I haven't done any reading, but at this point, who's surprised? That's not even why I'm here to talk to you. I thought it would be fun to do a little farewell to my library books that I've had for like a month. I think there's a due in a couple of days and the odds of me forgetting to return them tomorrow are astronomically high. So we're saying goodbye to the three Spiderwick Chronicle books I have. I only read one of them. I started Cool for the Summer by Dahlia Adler, but I got like 30 pages into it and like it was kind of fun. The writing style is just like a little basic. I don't know, not that into it anymore. But I'm also saying goodbye to the Bang Chronicles, but I do plan to buy a copy of this myself pretty soon, just for collection purposes, you know. Going to the library, gonna drop off my books, say bye bye. I read like 11 pages of Clockwork Princess. I just stopped for a little bit because I really don't wanna read this book like super fast or anything. So I'm not gonna make that my 100 pages for the day. I'm actually gonna do something a little out of character and follow through on what I said I was gonna do. I'm going to start, I know it's upside down, don't say anything. The I'm gonna start the last book of the white like I said I was going to. So 89 pages to go. It's like seven o'clock, let's do this. Also, she stole my chair. Huh. here's the thing i did start reading the lost book of the white and i did get a whopping five pages into it but then my dad came into my room and he asked me if i wanted to play scrabble i was like hell yeah i want to play scrabble i lost but that's not the point but now it's like two hours later and i've still only read like 15 pages i have like two hours to read what math 85 pages which like I probably could, but like, I don't know. So I'm gonna try for sure, but I make no promises. But I let it be known, I did intend to try and finish this challenge today. It just wasn't in the cards. So yeah, I'm gonna go wash my face and then we're gonna see how much of this I can read in two hours. Okay, so it's the next day and I'm here to wrap up the vlog. Last night, again, was a little bit of a fail. My goal was to read 100 pages yesterday and like I totally could have done it. I started reading at like 10 or 10.30ish and I was like, oh yeah, this will be so easy. I only had 85 pages to go. I was like, let's get it. But then I was like 40 pages into the Red Scrolls of Magic and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take like a little break. I set my book down and I closed my eyes. Um, I don't know what I was expecting to happen, but then I woke up at like 3 a.m. and I was like, shoot. So yeah, I managed to fail the last two days of this challenge, which is upsetting, but like, it's fine. We're dealing with it. I think I read 50 pages yesterday. It's better than what I read Saturday. Overall, um, I was not a fan of this challenge. I don't like being told even if it's by myself, how many pages to read a day. I know in the beginning of this video, I was like, oh, this will probably be like fine, but like it wasn't. I guess out of the 700 pages, which I theoretically would have had to read this week, I read 580, which um, I don't know how what percentage that would be considered because apparently I've learned nothing in my last two years of college. Um, 550, 580, divided by 700. So. This is above a 75%, so I'll take that. Probably got like a high C or a low B if we were assigning grades to this challenge. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I did not really, because every day I was just like, damn it, I don't want to read, but I have to read. And it was just kind of like, a, you know, when you're assigned reading for school, I just felt like I was being assigned reading, even though these are books that I wanted to read. I mean, it was like kind of fun, like just filming it all and seeing how I did with it, but 
ultimately not good <laughs> yeah i hope you enjoyed the video again thank you for subscribing it really means so much to me and i hope you stick around let me know down below how do you think you would do with this challenge grade wise think you're gonna a an f an, an e for effort i don't know subscribe like and i will see you in my next video